Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk all about accessories. I am so excited to bring you this video. This is going to be my favorite bags in my collection, my favorite handbags in my collection. Over the years, my style in handbags has changed. I kind of gravitate towards one style of handbags, but obviously I like different finishes, whether it's leather, suede, faux leather, any of those finishes, I enjoy it. So today will be all about these accessories and then um, I will talk to you about the style, the finish, why I like it. And so let us go straight in. And before I do that, I wanna thank all my new subscribers. Guys, I'm so close to 200 subscribers and that is super exciting. Um, I know 200 is not a big number, but as you guys know, I'm excited about every single person that is added to my savvy family so thank you again for joining and let's get right into the video so the first one is very exciting this one i believe i got it about two years ago and it was a gift to myself um, i wanted a signature bag in my favorite color you guys know that red is my favorite color so um, I, I when I saw this bag I thought immediately this one is for me I'm talking about this beauty right here I hope you guys can see that this is a small Joan Brahmin I got it like I said as a gift to myself a couple years ago and I only bring it out for whenever I'm in the mood for a signature red bag that you cannot miss. This one is leather embossed, as you can see. I really like the beautiful gold hardware in there. And then, um, as you can see, it's, it has the, if you guys are familiar with Brahmin bags, you have the typical Brahmin embossed detailing going right here. So this is leather. And on the sides, you have this suede finish, which I love very much. If you want to invest in a good bag, one of the things that I personally look for is the footed bottom. They call it the footed bottom. So whenever it has these stands in the bottom, I feel like this kind of preserves the life of the bag. So um, right off the bat, at the back you have a slip pocket right here, which you can store things in. I have random receipt. And in the bag, it is pretty spacious. I really go for satchels as opposed to totes. I always remove the adjustable straps that go with them just, just because I prefer to hold it in my hand. I think it makes me look more ladylike. You guys might disagree, but I just don't like the extra length of the strap. Every now and then I can use it, but I tend to just not use it. It is in the bag. So this is an adjustable strap that comes with it and I remove it for the most part. Sometimes I put it back on, so I just keep it in the bag, but I don't use it very often. So inside, I have lashes. <laughs> okay. Inside of the bag, there is a little slip pocket right here for putting extra stuff, and then you have a zip pocket here as well. So it's pretty spacious, and I keep it in the, um, bag that it came in originally to preserve it. I occasionally clean it with a leather cleaner to maintain the exterior. And I especially love the beautiful red color. It is a statement piece for sure. Um, not every single day wear, but honestly, like everybody knows how obsessed I am with red and I would use it all the time. This is the Brahmin Joan Small Satchel bag and she is a beauty oh and i did not mention the tassels which i really do like as well so this is a nice touch right here and the signature brahmin logo the second bag that i have is also by brahmin this one is the karina champagne melbourne and this one is smaller it is a flap shoulder bag um, which is also adjustable i'll show you guys in a minute it has a slip pocket at the back for um, anything you want to store there. I think you can use this in the daytime, in the nighttime. This one is a little bit old and very sentimental to me because my best friend's mom bought this for me and I love it so much. Um, the flap is magnetic, which is nice. You have the signature Brahmin logo. And like I said, you can change this from day to night. So in the daytime, you can wear it with the strap or you can also remove it. And then you basically have a clutch for the nighttime. Inside of it, you have the zip pocket right here, and then you have a slip pocket 
on the opposite side. This does not hold too much. Um, I have a hand sanitizer in there, and um, but you can put your phone, your wallet. It holds enough for a night out on the town, or simply if you want to put it back with the string, you can and just wear it as just your regular daytime look. This one is really beautiful and chic and small enough that you're able to carry the necessities, but big enough that it, it is noticeable and cute. I use this when I want something toned down from that June I showed you guys, and it kind of goes with a little bit of everything. Well, I wouldn't really pair it with silver, honestly, but I do enjoy the gold detailing on here. The next bag I have is actually not by Brahmin. It is by Anne Klein, and I typically get those at TJ Maxx. So you can get really good brands at TJ Maxx for um, much lower prices, and you get really good deals as well. You can get real leather, you can get faux leather, any type of finish you're looking for. So the next one is a nude faux leather tote. Um, slightly different from the shape that I like typically with the satchels and this one also has gold detailing I'm seeing a pattern here like I tend to go for the gold detailing on the bags just because I just think it's so classy and chic this particular bag I use for work and I use it when I want something neutral something understated but still classy and beautiful this one does not have any exterior pockets on the inside it actually came in two pieces with a cosmetic bag and this bag and inside you have the slip pocket right here there are no zip pockets inside and then the main um, the main main part of the bag so you can store a lot in here it is gorgeous and I love it it does not have the footed bottom so unfortunately this will get worn over time but I've managed to keep it in really good condition even if it is not a footed bottom it is for the woman on the go it is for the boss chick it is definitely a business woman um, standard piece so I like it and if you do, you cannot afford the Celine's and the Gucci's and the Dior's out there you can definitely go for this one it is very nice and I like the zipper as well and yeah so this is the um, tote by Incline love this so we're moving on to the fourth bag this one is by Brahmin again so I think this is gonna be my last Brahmin bag um, but I love this one so much and I basically use it all the time for one the color because I feel like I can make it work with almost anything it's just classic and chic but also because of the size because it can hold my entire life so I'm talking about the large Duxbury this one is um, in the color pecan and it is such a beautiful bag y'all as you can see there's an adjustable bag I left this one on so sometimes because it's a bigger bag it tends to be heavier but I don't usually use it like I said I will just go for the handles on, on top and that's it again it has that gold detailing that I like and this really the smooth Brahmin um, signature look that it has it has a slip pocket which is very tiny you could slip your keys in here but it would be hard to come out I typically put my phone if I'm really rushing and it has a main zipper when you open it guys this is huge I mean look at it next to my face it takes half of my upper body so it's pretty big it has a very big and deep zip pocket right here and then it has some slip pockets on the opposite side an area to put your pens or if you are that chick and you also have the key holder right here so you can stay organized. Very big, you can use put a laptop in this, you can put a tablet, you can put your cosmetic bag, you can put just about anything can fit in there. Again, this is, this is leather. For me, it's my everyday work bag just because of the size and I can fit so much. And guys, I carry so much stuff typically when I have my bag. It's always too heavy. My friends always wonder what I have in it. And it's ridiculous I have to do better but my bags are always super heavy I love this um, this little charm right here that it's had it came with this I did not purchase this it came with the bag and I think it's a beautiful bag now I've worn it over time so the leather is a little bit more like not as sturdy as it once was when it was new 
and of course the footed bottom to protect the bag which I love and enjoy and this is again the large Duxbury by Brahmin um, in the color pecan number five is really precious to me because I found her in Texas I was with my friend Julie and um, we went to this place called I don't remember I will definitely ask her where we found it Simu or something like that anyway they just have random fashion jewelry bags all of that and so I'm talking about this I do not know what it is called y'all I love the rich color but it's a satchel again I like this bamboo type of it's really just hardware so it's like gold but like heavy gold and it but it has that bamboo type of um, imitation to it as you can see right here and all of that is gold the gold hardware all over even in the strap as well and this is adjustable and removable if you don't want to carry it around now this bag has five million pockets I am not exaggerating the outer pocket is a snap then you have a zip pocket at the back right here which is pretty big and then you have a few slip pockets right there, which I have some jewelry in here. Oh, 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 I have jewelry. I have been looking for this. And you have this other pocket after the zip pocket, the zip interior pocket. You have a main compartment right here. This is faux leather. It has stood the test of time so much so, and I'm not very careful with it, that I feel like it is leather. I don't know. Um, it just feels that way and then it has this other pocket right here. It has another snap closure over here like pockets are endless and um, For a cheap bag because I think I bought it for less than $30 It also has the stand in the bottom that I like and it's also gold so the bag is able to be pretty much could be compared to my other expensive bags and it really wasn't this this takes a little getting used to because it's so firm and light bamboo, but it's gold, metal. Um, but I do like it and I always get compliments on this one. More so than I would say my other ones that are probably way pricier. Um, but I like it, it's beautiful. This is like a, a saddle type of color. Um, and I do like it so much. So, but this is like one of the favorite ones that I love wearing the most. So I do like that and it's been it's been loved. You can see it's a little weathered in the bottom, but I so like it. And the zipper has stayed in perfect condition. The snaps have stayed in perfect condition. I, I don't know, this is just a really good bag. The next bag I also found at TJ Maxx, probably a couple years ago. Um, I think it is the perfect bag for spring. Um, it is more kind of like daytime slash work appropriate, but it is so pretty. The color is very flattering, very girly, very feminine. This is another satchel. It has the beautiful little, um, it's not really a tassel, but almost like a, a tie with the gold detailing. And the back, you have a slip pocket, which is magnetic. I like that. Um, it keeps your things secure. You have this main compartment with the zipper. Inside of it, it is pretty large, which I like. Then you have a zip pocket and then two slip pockets on the opposite end. So um, it still looks like it's in pretty great condition for the length of time I've had it. It does not have um, footed bottom, unfortunately, but I mean, if I, I take care of my bag because I don't have them like everywhere on the ground, so I don't expect them to wear and tear too quickly. And the handle has stayed intact. This is vegan leather. And it the original price when I checked it it was pretty expensive but I got this not too bad um, of a price at TJ Maxx and I love it so I'm gonna be rocking this during the spring and also the the size you can put anything in here it came with an adjustable strap that I don't wear very often Again, I don't like the straps. I just like the handle and go. I don't know why I feel like I'm just more feminine with a handle. Um, do, how do you guys like wearing your bags? Because I love wearing the handle. Sometimes the handle also fits up here too. So I, I will just put it over the shoulder occasionally. But not very often because it can fit right underneath. Like right on my shoulder. The gold detail with the hardware. The little bow tie thingy right here. It is so cute. 
So yeah, um, perfect for spring and pretty big enough that I can fit all the things that I need to fit in there. The second to last one is one that I guess I wanted because I don't even enjoy bags that much from this brand, but I do like this. This is a practical everyday bag for me. Um, and I think every girl should have a staple black bag in her collection. Um, this one is, she's been weathered a little bit, y'all. This is my Riley bag by Michael Kors. I think this is probably my favorite part on the bag. It's just so cute. And then the, the gold has not tarnished over time. It still looks really good. Um, this has a back snap pocket. So, close pretty well. And then the zipper for the main compartment. Then you have so many slip pockets. You have four on this side. Let's see what I have in here. Lash glue. I have lots of treasures in my bag, y'all. So four slip pockets. Then you have two extra slip pockets on this side. And then I have the main zipper, the zip pocket right here. So that is really nice. And then you have this little middle part, a middle section. It is a zipper as well. So it's pretty big. I don't know, I don't really like the middle section zippers in my bags, but it does separate like the two sides. So if you wanna keep stuff on one side and separate the other side and keep organized, you can. I love the softness of the leather on this one. Um, it does have a footed bottom. This is this one is different than the Brahmins. The Brahmins are much longer as opposed to these, they're much flatter. So I would think that the Brahmin is more protected just because of the height. This one comes with an adjustable strap as well. You already know, I don't use it, but I think that every girl needs a staple black bag in her collection for work and for everyday wear. So the last bag is the final one in my collection, in my top favorites. Sometimes you don't realize patterns about yourself and you slowly realize that, oh wow, I like certain things a certain way. So I found Dune London. Um, they have these precious bags, y'all. Like they are small minis almost. And they are just the perfect, like look at this. This is so perfect for me. Um, even if I do prefer bigger satchels normally, I love this twist lock closure. Uh, this bag is beautiful, y'all. This one does not have an outside pocket. No, it has a zip pocket inside and no slip pockets on this side. So just one pocket to store your money or anything that you do not want to slip out of the bag and the main compartment. Now I put my wallet in there, my um, my lipstick, or anything I'm gonna use to touch up my makeup later in the, in the evening when I go out. And it is very chic. I simply just hold her and she goes with just about anything for a night out on the town with the girls, with Bay, what by yourself, <laughs> whatever. And I really just love this bag. Um, it does not hold too much again, like I said, but I mean, you don't need that much when you're going out. Even if I typically have a heavy bag, but when I do wear this, it almost forces me to not have so many things um, carrying around. So I like it for that. Anyway, this is it for the Dune or Dune London. And I think it is perfect for nighttime and dead night and whatever you want to wear it for. So it will look perfect with a little black dress, a little pink dress, a little blue dress, whatever. This is it for my favorite bags in my collection. And I hope that you like them. As you can see, I love satchels compared to any other style of bag. Um, I don't have many totes in my collection. I do have a few, but they're not my favorites, so that's why you didn't see them. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Peep that I'm not wearing any lashes today, and I'm actually liking it. And I'm using this new mascara that I'm about to tell you guys about later this month. I've been using it all through the month of February, and I think that it is a perfect um, drugstore mascara. I will tell you guys all about it in a video coming soon. And again, thank you so much for watching. Comment below, tell me what you think about my collection. And if you have anything that I showed today, um, I really love bags. I think it definitely adds to the overall look, whatever you're going for a toned down look or a dressed up look, a bag definitely completes the look, especially if you're into fashion. So it is one of my favorite accessories. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.